In this video, we will be discussing about rectangular waveguide TE mode. In the previous videos, we have already discussed what is TM mode, right? Now, let's try to understand this. Now, I will draw same structure, a waveguide structure and let me mark like this. Let's say that this is my magnetic field. Electric field is perpendicular out of the board and it is propagating like this. So, the same way again my magnetic field will be like this and electric field will be out of the board, right? So, this is my direction. Now, if I, if I apply the right hand rule, again the right hand rule says that nothing but if you see, this is how it is, this is my electric field which is going inside, this is my magnetic field and this is how the propagation happened, right? If I go here, again the same thing will be there, right? You see that? So, this is direction of propagation, this is how the magnetic field and electric field is inside. In one case, your electric field is coming outside, another case your electric field is going inside, right? So, sorry, both the cases it is going inside. So, at every time if I see that, if I break this magnetic field, right, let's say and this is my direction of propagation, right, that's how it is happening inside the rectangular waveguide, it is hitting this plane, this to and fro motion will happen and it will go, okay. So, if I break the magnetic field, can I say that magnetic field will have a component along the z direction, right? So, for the magnetic field, I will have exist a component called as hz. But for the electric field, which is going inside the board, which is perpendicular here, will not have any component along the z direction. So, when your ez is 0, it means your electric field will not have any component along the direction of propagation. This is what is called as transverse electric mode, right? Where your electric field will not have any component along the direction of propagation. So, we have understood what is TE mode, right? Now, for the rectangular waveguide, so for rectangular waveguide, so we are talking about rectangular waveguide, if you derive by the wave equation, you will get the expression of HZ. Because we said that HZ will have a component, right? EZ would be 0, but HZ will exist, right? So, if I, if you look into, refer your books, you will get that HZ expression as C cos m pi by A x into cos n pi by B y. This will be the expression of your HZ, right? Though we are not deriving this, you can refer the books and you can get this, okay? So, again, my alternative is I have to find it out which all mode exist in case of your TE. If I substitute m equal to 0, n equal to 0, what will happen? So, this is nothing but your TE 0 0 mode, right? So, in that case, will it exist? Let us see, cos 0 is 1, cos 0 is 1. So, EZ is not equal to 0, okay? If EZ is not equal to 0, can I say that TE 0 0 mode will exist? The answer to this question is no, TE00 mode will not exist. Why? If cos 0, cos 0, this will be 1. So, can I say that HZ will be something equal to C, right? It would be a constant. If your magnetic field along the Z is constant, then your electric field will not exist, right? That is what Maxwell says that right? time varying magnetic field will produce the electric field, right? We know that, right? Time varying magnetic field will produce the electric field. But if your magnetic field itself is static, it will not produce the electric field, right? So, we are saying that if HZ is constant, it will not produce the ma it will not produce the electric field, okay? So, TE00 mode will not exist, okay? What about TE01? It means M equal to 0 and N equal to 1. M is equal to 0, right? So, this will become what? This will become m is equal to 0 become 1 and n is equal to 1 will be cos pi y by b, right? So, this is nothing but again harmonic, this would be 1, right? This is something c cos of something, so it is harmonic, right? So, magnetic field will be harmonic in nature, right? If magnetic field is harmonic in nature, it means it is time varying, it means it will produce electric field, right? So, what we can say that Te01 will exist. What about Te10? where m equal to 1 and n equal to 0. If I do that, m equal to 1, 
and n equal to 0 again cos 0 will become 1 so again this will be c some cos harmonic again hz will be harmonic in nature because of this so again if hz is harmonic it will produce the electric field right so we can say that te 0 1 will also or te 10 will also exist right what about te 11 what about te 11 T11 if I substitute here, this is nothing but cos, this is cos, this will be nothing but cos A cos B, this will also exist. So we know that the TE00 will not exist, but TE01 will exist, right? TE01 will exist, TE10 will exist, TE11 will also exist. Now, which is the lowest mode? I can say that 0, 1 and 1, 0, we have to find it out which is the lowest mode, right? Lowest mode is nothing but the minimum possible frequency over which which can travel, right? We'll see how to conclude which is the lowest mode in case of T01 and T10 in the next videos.